Hey, what's going on YouTube? Black Bear Hunter coming at you again, and we're here to talk about Strafe Hendrick, right? So um, this is a 2016 vintage of a triple on Brett, right? And so they basically call this uh, Strafe Hendrick Wild. Um, like I said, this is a 2016 vintage. Um, right now, they have, it actually should have came out a few days ago. The 2020 version was bottled in 2019, um, and it should be out. So in this case, like I said, I'm breaking out of 2016 the other day. Um, I actually did a review on <sighs> the uh, Golden Monkey, Triple and Brett. So it made me um, search this out. Right. Like I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. So this is basically. Nine percent ABV. Um, and like I said, it's made by Strafe, uh, Strafe, right um, over in uh, Bruges, uh, Belgium. And so <clears throat> the brewery it has a really nice name. The Half Man, right? The Half Man. Um, like I said, it's located in Bruges and, um, yeah, this, this brewery has been around for a long time, a very long time. And so, um, I, I don't know if they had financial troubles before, but they, uh, their beers were sold to other breweries. Um, and then they brought their beers back, um, and, and started, like producing back in Bruges again. Um, so basically, I think they've been around like, man, a couple hundred years, 500,000, 500 years or so. Uh, and uh, the current iteration of this brewery has been operating since like 1856 or something like that, right? And uh, it's a family brewery, five generations. Um, the, I guess the current owner has been in place since like the 90s. Um, it, man, these guys have been around forever. Like they were delivering beer by like uh, a horse. That's how long they've been distributing beer. And so, um, yeah, I mean, they've actually been doing their thing. Like they even have like fun fact, a like a beer. It's like like an oil line, but specifically for beer. And it's like two miles long and it was crowdfunded. So everybody that participated in this crowdfund actually get free beer from the brewery. Why didn't I know about this crowdfund? <laughs> and so, yeah, I mean, like, yo, it's, it's an interesting brewery. They make awesome beer. I've been on Strafe Hendrick for a long time. Like I said, like one of my first places, the first place I started was Belgian beers. And so, yeah, um, I'm all about some Belgian. So at the end of the day, um, here we are with their wild edition uh, of their of their triple, which is an amazing triple. They have an amazing quad. Um, and so um, the beer is like reefer minute on Brett, right? And so it creates like, so when you usually like with Brett, which is extremely popular, but it's extremely stable and it's a, it's an awesome, it's awesome yeast. Um, it gives you like these fruity aromas. Like it has a wide array of things that it can do. Like it can even be pretty funky, but at the end of the day, um, At the end of the day, this one, like in 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 this iteration, it's it's funky, but it's fruity, right? Um, and so at the end of the day, I'm kind of curious. It's been four over four years, and all right, hey, I'm ready to try it. Um, I I've had this iteration, I think probably around like maybe or I've had, I think it was the same year or 2015 I had it. And it was awesome then. Um, I, I'm hoping that is awesome now. Hope it actually, 
um, did well with age. Um, and so, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get this popping in like a dummy again. Oh, I left the handy dandy bottle opener. My Harbor Freight bottle opener. It looks like a screwdriver, but it's like a, a bottle opener. Pretty cool. Two dollars or a no, actually with the coupon, it was like 99 cents or something like that. So at the end of the day, um this beer has been aged. Um a nice um so like with this beer, they kind of like created um and so basically they bottle condition or age it for three months in the cellar um at the brewery. Um the refermentation with the wild yeast is only finished like after like three months like they pretty much like give it some time um to become palatable right like and so the beer it continues to develop over time and so i mean i know what the original triple is not designed to do that but i guess with this refermentation process that totally like extends the time frame or it allows it to age um much longer right and so i guess the hops will become softer um and the brett will continue to work with creating uh the fruity aromatics and um flowers and the wine like it, it helps it to develop these these characteristics that's going to get stronger over time so with that being said, your boy is uh, ready to take one for the team, right? And so, um, yeah, let's go ahead. Ooh, ooh, nice little CO2 jumping out of there, letting you know that they um, are doing great quality control over there at Strafe. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So, um, I mean, as you can see, um, wow, it smells good. Um, nice and like orange, amber like finish. Like it looks really, really like I'm really surprised at how it looks. Hmm. But uh I mean I can smell it from here. And so um you saw how the head it had a nice like like nice like sudsy white head. Um the beer is kind of hazy if you can notice that. And look at that that puffy head that that foamy puffy head just like receded extremely quick oops i spilled a little bit and so um yeah it's just a few little bubbles surrounding the edge um but i mean that color though that nice color mm, not much to lay well it's got pretty decent lacy though it receded pretty quick i mean eh, it's not really sticking to the glass really well but i mean it's like i said it's leaving a little foamy rim um Let's take a look here and see. I gotta smell it. I'm I'm excited. Oh, it smells like candy. Like you got like that cotton candy, caramel. Like you can smell malts and like it's mildly kind of funky. Um, you definitely got that peppery like yeasty kind of smell definitely like some oranges uh grapefruit maybe something citrusy um like i said that grapefruit is kind of citrusy but um yeah like 
like I said, you got that little spiciness, kind of earthy smell. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely extremely, like, this beer is distinctive. The smell's distinctive. Um, it kind of just smell like it, I mean, but it's like, not extremely as funky as I thought, but like I said, because of the age and the time on it, it's it's totally cut back. And you really smell like caramel malts and everything else, like the fruits and stuff. You smell that. Um, yeah, I mean, like, it really doesn't have like that. Like, when I had it before, it's like, it, I was scared to drink it because it smelled like a horse stable. It smelled like... <laughs> Like, it smelled like a gym or something like that. Like, oh, my gosh, I was really scared. But, you know, like I said, you know, Strafe, they do great quality control in their beer. And they're not going to let out anything that just tastes like who did it and why. And so the beer was amazing. Um, So at the end of the day, if, if anything, it's going to taste like a triple, right? And, like... I love triples, so, um, yeah. I mean, I'm good with spicy essence and fruit and a little hop delivery and caramel malts and candy sugar. Like, oh, yeah, definitely you did smell like I did smell like a ton of candy sugar. Yeah. The whatchamacallit is going, the cotton candy is going to now. It's more like, like that Belgian candy sugar. Um... Mm, I can't wait to taste this. Okay, so at the end of the day, your boys talked enough. So now I'm going to have to take one for the team. Cheers, YouTube. I have to taste this. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm. -hmm. Ooh. mm. So there's still a little funkiness in there. But it's awesome because, like, it balances really well. It's not, like, overtaking like it was before. But it tastes exactly like, like, it's sweet and it's funky and it's hoppy. Man. I mean, and it's peppery. Like I said, you, you got a really nice, complex, layered thing going on here, right? So, you got the aroma. Like I said, you can't really smell the funk on it. A little hint of it. But, like, the aroma and the taste balance extremely well. Like, you, what you smell is what you taste, pretty much. And so, you get pears, you get apples, you get some peach. You're getting those malts. You're getting citrus. You got a lime. You got that Brett Funk going on. Oh, my gosh. And so, yeah, like I said, you got those, the caramel malts, the candy sugar. Um, I mean, and it's not overpowering. Nobody's overpowering anybody in this combination. And whew, it's extremely, extremely solid, stable. Um, e yo, this is easy to drink. Um, it's kind of it, it, touching on like the feel. It's like extremely like spritzy. Like it's like effervescent. Um, you definitely get like s that carbonation. It's medium body. Um, like it works well with that citrus and that carbonation. The carbonation and like the fruit and the floral delivery, like it is kind of earthy too. So, like it's kind of floral and then kind of earthy. Like now I'm talking and I can taste like it, like earthy notes, floral notes. Um, with the hops, the carbonation with the hops, like they did a really great. To me, they did a great job. Um. Most people, I guess, they wanted a little bit more funkiness and a little bit more wildness. And like I said, when you when you get it fresh out the bottle, like when it when they first let it hit the shelves, is extremely 
is 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 wild. <laughs> it's all over the place. But the mouthfeel on it, like I said, that frisky carbonation, like it, they did a really good job. The carbonation is adequate. It's assertive. It's got a frothy feel, like like the head is still there. Um, yeah, man, it's it's solid. Um, smooth, extremely smooth, kind of dry to the finish, um, and kind of reminds you like a like a champagne or yeah, like a spritzer, like a rosé spritzer or something like yeah. Just that candy element, like, totally changes that feel and that taste. Like, uh, so your body responds to it. Your tongue totally responds to this beer. So overall, to me, I'm impressed with this beer. Um, and my only regret is that I had to drink it so that I could talk to you about it. Not like I wanted to be greedy or anything and not talk about it. But at the end of the day, it, it, it dwindled on my little supply. So I'm going to have to get some more. <laughs> so at the end of the day, um, this beer is solid, man. Like four years old. And like I said, the original triple, it's not supposed to hold up to it. But I, I have a few that's like maybe five or six years old triples. They are in, I just had them like maybe not too long ago. Like we had like a little, um, you know, meet up and taste and you bring some stuff out and I pulled out some vintage and yeah, it, it totally was like, it was great. Um, so at the end of the day, yeah, I'm impressed with this beer. It does really, it is doing really well aging um at, at four years old is is actually doing really well um and so like given the choice would i buy it again yes would i choose it over oral uh orville yes would i choose it over a gold monkey yes even though gold gold monkey's cheaper would i choose it over gold monkey yes would i choose it over sour monkey Yes, what I choose. Well, it's kind of like a split. It all depends on how I feel and what I'm eating. And so at the end of the day, it goes back to pairing. I'd pair this with, uh, I'd pair it with a, shit, I'd have it with pizza. I'd have it with a burger. I'd have it with cheese. i have it with sausage. Almost pretty much the same thing as I'd have with a gold monkey or a sour monkey. Um, I'm found, I'm, like, I love triples. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it, it, like, I'd pick it over a lot of beers. Um, but I'd pick it over, like, Rockford, Trappist Rockford. Whew, that's kind of hard. Like, 10. Whew, that's kind of hard. So at the end of the day, it, it's all about, like, what I want to spend. And, but this is a vintage. And so dollar for dollar, I, I love the vintage. Um, I love aging these awesome natural beers. Like, yo, it's, it's, it's textbook, right? And so at the end of the day, they make a quality beer. Um, no artificial flavors, preservatives, or colors. I sound like a cereal commercial. And so at the end of the day, yeah, I totally, I, I'm, I'm in tune. Are you in tune? You, do you like natural beers? Talk about it. Hit me up. Hit hit me up. Go ahead, me comments. I'm not blocking my comments. If you say, "Oh, you're off," I feel something different. Okay, we can talk about it. So at the end of the day, let's talk beer. So this is definitely a try. If you can grab the 2020, grab that 2020. If you can actually, because they're circulating this. If you can grab 2016. Grab 2016 because when they put out the 2020s, they put out the, the other years. And this one, I think, is actually around. I don't think people even bought it. And so at the end of the day, grab it, try it, grab a bottle. Don't you have to grab all the whole four pack, but grab a bottle. Try it out. I say it's good. It gets the thumbs up if I had to rate it. I definitely would give it like, because it's. Shit, now it's aged. 
When it was new, I give it like a four. Now that it's aged, I give it like a four three. Um, a really good beer. So at the end of the day, yeah, let, try it out. Tell me what you think. Um, it's not an overly sweet beer. It's kind of like a bittersweet. And like I said, it's got that hop delivery. It's got the citrus. It's got those fruits. It's a bit floral. It's got the um, the, the the malt backbone. So at the end of the day, try it. Tell me what you think. See what happens. And then at the end of the day, we can try another one. Suggest another beer. But Brett Triples, I'm feeling these Brett Triples. <laughs> so I didn't think it was going to be a thing. It's a thing. So with that being said, YouTube, your boy is out. I'm going to pound this. And we'll talk next time. If you can see, I think I'm going to do Anderson Valley. You can see him back there, right? You see Anderson Valley? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do some Anderson Valley. And so, yeah, they decided to put it in can. Oh, snap. And price point's not bad. $13.99 for a four-pack when originally the regular bottle was about $13, $14.99. So I'm curious to see if it lost anything. And then also the fact that this in can, it should be extremely bright. So at the end of the day, like I said, I'm out of here. Your boy will hit you up later. I'm going to pound this. I'm tired of talking. Peace, YouTube.